dear students welcome to my youtube channel pharma 15 today we are going to discuss some of the mcqs based on topic cosmetics from the subject industrial pharmacy 1 as per revised pci syllabus question number 1 thioglycolic acid like compounds have application in the following type of cosmetic formulation options are epilatory preparations then skin tan preparations then we have depilatory preparations and the right answer is the depilatory preparations so the compounds which belongs to the category of thioglycolic acid are mainly used as the depilatory agents in the depilatory preparations question number 2 the healing agent used in hand cream is options are urea sterile alcohol soft paraffin beeswax and the right answer is option a urea so urea is used as a healing agent in hand creams question 3 the role of borax in cold cream is to provide fine particles to polish skin as antioxidant in situ emulsifier antimicrobial agent and the role of borax in cold cream is in situ emulsifier so the right option is option c that is borax act as an in situ emulsifier in cold cream question number 4 titanium dioxide is commonly present in formulations such as vanishing cream aqueous calamine cream ophthalmic cream or sunscreen cream the correct answer is option d that is sunscreen 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 creams so titanium dioxide is a commonly employed agent in the sunscreen creams which one of the following is not used in the preparation of baby powders calcium carbonate boric acid kaolin or stearic acid the correct answer is option b that is boric acid boric acid is not recommended for the babies up to 3 years so hence boric acid is not used in the preparation of baby powders as the skin of the babies it is delicate so boric acid being acidic in nature okay so it can harm the skin of the babies hence boric acid is not used in the preparation of baby powders now question number 6 titanium dioxide is used in sunscreen products as a topical protective the topical protective effect of titanium dioxide is arising due to one of the following properties identify this properties so the properties which are given in options are it has a low water solubility it has a high ltv absorbity it has a high bulk density it has a high refractive index so right option is option d that is titanium dioxide due to its property of having high refractive index is mainly used in sunscreen products as an topical protective question number 7 benzoyl peroxide is used as astringent keratolytic an emollient a preservative and the right answer is benzyl benzoyl peroxide is used as a keratolytic agent so option b is an correct answer 
as benzyl peroxide gel is used mainly as an keratolytic agent which also has an antibacterial action now the effectiveness of this benzyl peroxide appears mainly due to its antibacterial as well as peeling that is the keratolytic and the drying action you will find benzyl benzoyl peroxide mainly used for the keratolytic therapies in the treatment to remove warts and other lesions in which the epidermis produce excess skin so to remove the excess skin and also to remove the warts we use <coughs> agents such as benzoyl peroxide which is an keratolytic agent keratolytic can also be used to soften the keratin a major component of the skin this serves to improve the skin moisture binding capacity which is beneficial mainly in the treatment of dry skin now moving towards next question in cosmetic preparation an osmotic uh, sorry an antioxidant use in an aqueous system is options are sodium formaldehyde sulfoxide sulfoxylate phenol methyl paraben and alpha tocopherol the right op answer is option a that is sodium formaldehyde sulfoxylate is an example of an antioxidant which is used in aqueous system rest other three examples such as phenol methyl paraben and alpha tocopherol they are used in non aqueous systems as antioxidants question number 9 in in nail paint following polymer is used as a film former so which polymer is used in nail paints to form a film when you apply the nail polish options are hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose then cellulose acetate phthalate net nitrocellulose and lastly polylactic polylactate acid and the right answer is option c that is nitrocellulose is used as a film former in nail polish moving towards question number 10 humectants are added in the cosmetic preparation generally acts by one of the following mechanisms options are hydrogen bond formation the action of london forces complex formation covalent bond formation and the right answer is option a so the humectants which are used in cosmetic preparation generally act by formation of a hydrogen bond question number 11 cold cream is WYO emulsion O by W emulsion both A and B or multiple emulsion and the correct answer is cold cream is W by O emulsion now this you may have done in your regular practicals also or in your second year or first year that cold cream is a type of emulsion which is W by O type coming to question number 12 vanishing cream is which type of emulsion w by o emulsion o by w emulsion both a and b and lastly multiple emulsion and the right answer for question number 12 that is vanishing cream is an o by w type of emulsion which is the commonly used humectant in cosmetic preparations options are polyethylene glycol isopropyl alcohol that is ipa glycerol none of the above and the right answer is option c that is glycerol is an commonly used humectant in the cosmetic preparations question number 14 spf stands for sun permeation factor sun product factor sun perfection factor sun protection factor now as you may all know that spf mainly stands for option d that is sun protection factor 
which is mainly used to this is one of the parameter which is used in the sunscreen creams to judge what is the protection which is given by the cream against the harmful rays of the sun the creamy appearance of shampoo is due to the pear lysers as well as the opacizers sorry as well as the opacifiers conditioner agents athetic additives none of the above and the correct answer is the pear lysers and the opacifiers are the agents which are mainly responsible for giving the creamy appearance to the shampoo question number 16 schedule m2 states that requirement of factory premises for manufacturing of medical devices requirement of factory premises for the manufacturing of homeopathy requirement of factory premises for the manufacture of cosmetics Requ requirement of factory premises for the manufacturing of allopathy and the correct option is option c that is schedule m2 states that requirement of factory premises for the manufacturing of cosmetic of for the manufacturing of cosmetic and i would like to highlight over here so the overall governing of cosmetics means how the schedules the rules for the cosmetics and everything they are given in schedule s question number 17 manufacturing and analytical records of cosmetics are included in which schedule options are y u u1 and b and the right answer is option c that is u1 so manufacturing and analytical records of cosmetics are included in schedule u1 now paste is an semi solid preparation which is a magma concentrated emulsion gel concentrated suspension now as you know that paste are semi solids so in this we have semi solids four options are given so the right option is option d that is concentrated suspension so paste is an semi solid depression which is an concentrated suspension question number 19 addition of dash to the nail polish preparation improves the flexibility and lasting power of the nail polish options are ac related monoglycerides di butyl stearate dioctyl phthalate and resins and the right answer is option a that is acetylated monoglycerides they are mainly used in nail preparations to improve the flexibility and give the lasting power to the nail paints which of the following is used as an anti dandruff agent in shampoo shampoos so we sorry which of the following is not used as an anti dandruff agent in the shampoo shampoos options are zinc and desilinate zinc pyruvate cadmium sulfate and selenium sulfate so out of this four options which agent is not used as an anti dandruff agent in shampoos and the right option is option b so zinc pyruvate is not an anti dandruff agent rest agents such as zinc under selenate and cadmium sulfate and selenium sulfate they are anti dandruff agents which are used in shampoos which of the following is not a hair remover options are zinc sulfite calcium sulfite arsenic trisulfite and option d copper sulfate and the right answer is option d that is copper sulfate so copper sulfate is not used as an hair remover but mainly the sulfite category such as zinc sulfite calcium sulfite and arsenic trisulfite they are used as hair removers so with this thank you dear students for listening the mcqs based on the topic of cosmetics i request everyone to please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you